What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. In this video, we're going to be customizing the legendary 2003 Porsche Carrera GT. One of the most legendary Porsches ever made. Just an absolutely phenomenal, gorgeous car. And of course, it has that crazy, exotic, hypercar, supercar styling that's different from a traditional 911. I mean, it's just so, so nice. And it has the amazing V10 that everybody loves, the exhaust note of. This and the LFA are my top two favorite ever sounding production cars. I mean, they just sound so, so good with those screaming V10s. Oh, man. All right, let's get to Forza Vista and check it out here. Uh, and the detail here, it is amazing. So, you <laughs> have the front trunk here. And, of course, I mean, they added all with the leather, with the diamond pattern stitching and all that. And this is actually the area where you put the two roof panels in real life. So right here on the roof, those two little panels, they come off. You can see a line down the center. So they come off kind of like T-tops, but they're together. Um, but they come off in two individual roof panels. Um, and you store them here in the uh, front trunk. And they went as far as to put uh, the diagram. Look at that. They even put the diagram from the real car there at the center. I mean, that is the level of detail. It is just so, so good. Even the little latch. I mean, everything. It's just amazing. Uh, interior as well, just gorgeous. You see it there. Oh man, six-speed manual up there with the wooden knobs, the uh, shift knob. That is <laughs> so so cool. Got the rear active sport. Let me lower that really quick. There we go. Oh look at that engine bay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. F detail is Forza's middle name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> back out of there and of course I love the active spoiler oh so so cool all right let's hop in let's listen to we gotta, we gotta listen to this beast right, let's turn it on here oh my goodness let's close everything there oh my god Wow. Now, it doesn't sound exact. Um, it sounds really, really good. Definitely better than most games, but it still could be a bit better. The real car, just it sounds a bit different in tone, just a little bit, but this is very, very good still. All right, let's hop out here. Back out there. That's not what I wanted to do. Let me out of the car for it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's close that there, and there we go. close. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at all the customization options. So upgrades and tunes, uh, no body kits, obviously. Um, or go here to uh, conversions first, so you guys can see this. So you have, of course, a legendary V10, and then you could swap in a racing V12, which I mean, stock right here. And you're gonna have to put it this. It's just it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. It's just you're ruining the car. <laughs> And with a 4.6 4 liter V8 hybrid, no. Just no, no. Okay, has to have that V10. So we're going to keep that V10. Um, you can make it all-wheel drive if you'd like. It does come stock rear-wheel drive. Um, and then, of course, you can do the turbos if you want to go crazy with the power, which we're definitely going to do. So we're going to put twin turbos on this thing. And you can hear the difference, actually. If I rev it here, and then we put this, you can hear the turbos. So, so cool. All right. Now, engine, let's go ahead and max everything out here. Intake, fuel system, all this here. Exhaust, see if there's a difference. Sounds pretty much the same there. Uh, cam. Oh, wow. This one definitely sounds different. Okay. Valves, displacement. Bigger turbos, please. Yes, sport or race. Definitely. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, they're really screaming now. <laughs> and intercooler. All right, we got everything there. Uh, platform and handling. Uh, suspension. Drift rally. I'll leave it stock. Uh, roll cage. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Weight reduction, though. 300 pounds. Eh, not much compared to other cars that have like. 600 or a thousand pound options, but I mean this car is already lightweight to begin with 
what are we at? Uh, wow. So stock weight is about 3,300 pounds. Now we're at uh, almost an even 3,000. So 3,020 pounds, not bad at all. And look at that. The power is 1,271 maxed out. <laughs> That's really good. All right, so let's install that. Um, drivetrain, transmission. Um, it's a manual. I mean, why, why increase the... I still want to keep it. You know what? I'm going to put the race uh, transmission in this. It'll be a six speed, right? Yeah. So this will be a six. Because stock, it's a six speed. So this will increase our shift time. The manual cars in this game, they shift very slow. So um, I think, you know, because the game shifts for you or whatever. Obviously, you can shift quicker if you do it yourself with the uh, menus and stuff. I don't want to be tapping buttons while I'm <laughs> trying to drive it and commentate on it and all that. But. Uh, you know what? We'll do the uh, we'll do the race transmission just to improve our shift times a bit. Uh, diff, we'll just leave it the way it is. Um, and wheels, there's no way I'm changing these wheels. But with we'll the uh, tires, these slick race tires need some grip. Uh, front tire width are 265. So that's that's pretty. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's actually really good. Um, I think we'll bump it up to let's bump it up to 275s. Um, you know, there would be 285s. See here. Yeah, we'll do 285s up front. Alright, rears. We have the 335s in the rear. That's not bad. That's pretty big stock. That's really good. We can go 345 or 355. Yes, please. Some more grip. All that power in the rear. We need as much as we can get. Um, rim style. There's no way I'm changing these wheels. It's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> These wheels, I mean, nothing fits this car more. It, I mean, those wheels, they, they make the car. I mean, it, they really, really do. Like, they go hand in hand. And, of course, you have the legendary uh, red uh, locks on the uh, driver's side, and then you have the blue on the passenger side. So that's so, so cool. They even incorporated that specific detail that not many people know. So, I mean, that's so, so cool. All right. Um, that has to do with racing, obviously, for those of you who don't know. Uh, front wheel size, 19's on the front stock, you can go 20 or 21, that's ridiculous. Um, rear stock is 20, so it's a staggered setup, and you can bump it up to a 21 on the back, we're not going to do that. Um, front track width, I mean it sits pretty well in there, maybe a tiny bit out, but I mean, even with the front bumper, you can see the tire poking there a bit on the bottom edge. I think it's fine. See here, yeah that's too much, no. If you can see part of a tire at this angle sticking out, it's just too much. Um, I would like a tiny bit out, but not this much. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. They should really change the way that that first option comes out. It comes out way too much. And how about the last one? <laughs> no. Okay, we'll just leave it the way it is. Uh, rear. The rear can come out a bit. Yeah, definitely. Why? Why does it come out so much? My gosh. That comes out what, like three, four inches? <laughs> Why not like an inch at a time? <laughs> it's coming out too far. <laughs> How about the last one? I don't even want to know what the last. Oh my god, no! Why? <laughs> okay. Um, man, there should be something in between these two would be perfect. That's kind of unfortunate. But I mean, stock it does look pretty bad. It's kind of tucked it in there. I guess I'll do this option here. It looks a little weird, but I think it looks a lot better than the stock where it's like way in there. Um, so we'll do that just a little bit too far from my taste though, but it is what it is. Okay uh, Continuing here uh, Front bumper you got the carbon splitter with the cannons. That looks pretty good. That doesn't look too bad You have the to tow hook too, but I mean I prefer the more clean look plus we're gonna go for a top speed run This reduces our straight line speed and such so uh, I'm just gonna keep it stock there a uh, rear spoiler so putting this typical Forza wing that's available on most cars this does um, turn off the active spoiler, the stock one, so I'm not going to do that. I think it's cool to see that spoiler come up. Um, so we're definitely not going to change that. Uh, continuing, we got everything there. All right, install. So about 3,000 pounds we talked about earlier. Uh, almost 1,300 horsepower, so a 3,000 pound car with 1,300 horsepower. <laughs> okay, let's install that. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Designs and paints, paint car, manufacturer colors here. We got the legendary silver that most of them were painted in. I think they made this color the most for this car was the silver. Uh, you got the yellow, you got the red. Oh man, every time I see this color, rest in peace, Paul. Okay, black, um, nice. 
like a metallic black, kind of grayish, okay? And then this last one, interesting. It's like a weird looking gray, kind of reminds me of like that Audi gray, that Nardo gray kind of looking color. Interesting there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep the silver, honestly. I mean, this car just fits so well in that color. There's really, I mean, this car is one, this is one of those cars, I mean, for blue in it, like blue, this car doesn't look good in blue at all. Um, and like bright colors, it just doesn't really do it justice. The yellow and the red look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but the other colors just don't work. I think the silver is just so perfect on this car. Probably why it was the most popular color that people ordered. Um, hood, uh, mirrors, should we do carbon mirrors? Wow, it's just the top edge and it leaves the uh, the, the uh, arms the same silver. That looks good. I like that. It makes it look like the mirror is floating. That's so cool. All right, we're definitely doing that. Um, rear spoiler. You can paint that centerpiece. That's funny. Yeah, I don't like that because it's supposed to flow with the uh, with the edges on the on the quarter panels. It just looks weird the way it, when it's separate like that. I don't like the I don't like the separation. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Um, wheels, we're not going to paint them. I love the silver. Uh, brake calipers, on the other hand, I think we can do red. Because they're black. I don't know why. There's some red here. Uh, let's see here. Red. Yeah. Do red. Um, window tints. Yeah, I'll do that. It's fine. Okay, let's install that. Alright. Let's take this thing for a drive. Oh man, let's hear that screaming V10 with twin turbos. Listen to that already. I'm, I'm barely getting into it. Jeez. Okay. My, it revs so quickly too. My gosh. Barely giving any gas. Easy on the throttle. Oh my gosh. First person. Okay. All right, let's floor it right here. Here we go. Spinning in second. Spinning in third. Oh my gosh. Fourth, we're good. Wow. That sounds so good, too. Are we going to max out six gear? 227. Wow, six gear is pretty long. 232, that's not bad. Wow. Maxing out that six gear sounds incredible. <laughs> this thing had 600 horse stock. We're almost at 1300. More than double. Crazy. Double the power what this car was engineered for. That's the beauty of Forza. Go, go, go! 231, 232. Look at this full, almost full speed on that turn. Wow. That's a guardrail. That's what that is. <laughs> Fifth gear. Alright, let's do some first person here. Oh, now it's raining. Wow. The windshield wiper going there. I don't know if this car had a single windshield wiper. Huh. More you know. 232. Not bad. Let's see if it keeps that going uphill. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. A hill? What is that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Downshifts? Wow. Sounds so good. I just love how high these cars rev. So satisfying. It was like a what? Yeah, nine thousand is red line. A little pal, it's like ninety five hundred. Wow, ninety five hundred RPM red line. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Wow, what a car! What a car! Over the underpass here. This is man, oh man! I really like this a lot. This is one of those cars. Like the LFA, you just something you gotta buy in game and just drive just to hear about exhaust note. And if you're getting bored with the speed, just you know, <laughs> put the hood on twin turbos or whatever you want to really get the best out of it. Or you can go NA, just max it out too. Um, but I don't think you're gonna get to a thousand, but still, 
a lot of power, a lot of car. Absolutely amazing. Really, really love this one. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car you want to see me customize next. Maybe the Enzo. Maybe kind of continue this trend from back in the early 2000s. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.